Hello, welcome to Tech Shimmer. In this session, we will learn about Open Identifier or Open ID in CL program. So I have created one program. So let's go through that. So I am opening it in edit mode. So first of all, I will recap the previous thing that we have uh, discussed, like how to read the file in CL program. So this is the same code uh, we are using today, uh, where we are declaring one variable for re, uh, for running the loop and inside that loop, uh, loop we are uh, trying to read the data from the physical file ampf okay so here is the file declaration uh, variable declaration then this is the file declaration and then we are running one loop do while loop till the condition is one and this condition we have specified in th at the time of initialization and then we are using rcf rcvf command to read the data and once it reaches to the end of file situation it will directly came out of the loop otherwise it will print these two values employee id or employee name so this is a simple code that we usually uh, write for reading the data from the physical file so it is working properly and it is send giving the data okay fine so this is all about the previous session now for today we are here to discuss about the open id so first question is why we need open id so suppose in this program we are just reading the data from one physical file and the requirement is that that we want to uh, declare multiple physical file in our program and we need uh, data from two physical file or more than uh, one physical file then how we can do that so we can achieve this with the help of open identifier okay so usually what we think like if we write dclf for declaring another file then my second file name is emppf1 which is also in library share myth one okay so this is share myth okay so this is my second file so usually we think like if we declare in this way then it will work but it will not work let's see if I do the compilation then it will give some error and if we check the spool file so I'm opening my spool file here so here you can see the error DSLF with open ID par parameter star none declared previously so it means we are not using open identifier if we are declaring more than one file then we have to declare open identifier so how to do that so for doing that you have to take f4 on the file declaration then here there is one option open file identifier where we have to pass the id so id is the name that we can refer for retrieving the data for from this particular file so let's say if i want to read the data from this file then I will use this name file 1 similarly I will set the open identifier for the second file so I am passing it as file 2 you can declare only one file with the stand and otherwise you have to declare the file id or open id so this is file 2 now understand the requirement here we are just simply using rcvf command which is used to read the data from the file but we are not going to read uh, but like here we have declared two physical uh, two physical file using the dclf command but how this command will understand like from which file it will take the data so just to remove that conflict we have to use this concept open identifier now wherever i am using the open identifier rcvf i have to set the open id to it so just go and take a full on rcvf and here in the place of open identifier you can pass the file name or open id so i want to read the data from this file which is emppf so i have simply go and set the open id as file one so now in this case what it will do it will read the data only from this file so this is the second change first change is we have to set the open id for file then we have to specify that open id on rcvf and the third change we need to do is whenever we are going to read the data from this file then we have to prefix the field name 
with open id so for that we have to simply write file one underscore then field name and in same way file one underscore field name so now it will work why because we have set the open id we have read the file with that open id and at the time of printing the values i'm using the file one or underscore as a prefix for my field so let's try to compile it it is compiled successfully and if i call it it gives me the data which is correct right so this is how open identifier works and the requirement is clear that whenever we are going to read more than one file in a uh, seal program then we have to set the open id for the file now one more question like if i declare one file with open identifier and one without open identifier will it work yes it will work but only in case of two files if there is three file then again we have to set the open identifier so in short we can say that only one file we can declare without open identifier and in that case it will directly understand okay so this is this one file from where we need to read the data but it is always a good approach to go with open identifier like whenever we are, you are declaring a file in CL make sure that you have set the open ID for that file okay now I will show you the second file data so this is my second file data which is EMPPF1 where I have stored employee ID name and department so for example we will try to print these two value only okay so for that I'm just co copying this code from here So the code is copied now here what we will do we will pass second file as op file 2 and similarly we will change it to file 2 we don't want to print the employee name so I'm just deleting it and now I'm trying to compile it in this case what will happen what should happen like it will print the uh, firstly it will print all the data from the file 1 and then it will print the data from the file too but only the employee IDs so it is compiled successfully calling it so it prints the data one this is for, from file one now this is from file two so we got the employee ID as thousand and two thousand which is correct because in this file these are the only two values we are not printing the employee data name and department we are just printing the employee ID so this is how it works so now I will again give you the pointers for this session like first thing whenever you want to read data from more than one file then you have to specify this open ID for the file this is only for reading the data and for instructing the RCVF command that we want to read the data from that particular file so somehow you can relate this with the prefix keyword in RPGLE if you have used that then it will be more bit easy for you to understand the concept but if you are not aware of that then it is also fun because the only requirement of this open ID is whenever we want to hit the RCVF command then we have to instruct that like you have to pick the data from that particular file if there is only one file then it is fine we, there is no need for open identifier but if there is more than one file then we have to set the open ID for the files okay second thing at the time of reading the file you have to specify that id and also now once the open id is set then every field of this file will be accessed with the with the prefix of that open id and underscore so this will be the prefix let's say if i my open id is one um, a1 so what i will do i will read it as a1 underscore my field name okay so I hope this is clear to all of you and that's all for this session. In the upcoming session we will discuss few more things. So thank you for watching Texture Method.